Hello, today we'll be unboxing a brother. This is an MFC, it's an L2717DW. If you've watched any of our other videos that we've done HPs, you'll probably have guessed that some of this, uh, some of these letters in the product name actually mean something. In our case, the D is for duplexing and the W is for wireless. So as you can imagine, this is an all-in-one, which will allow you to not only print the obvious one. Uh, it also scans, it allows you to do copies, and it will also, uh, or can be used as a fax. I believe most of you no longer need a fax function, but it's built in. So let's go ahead and open it and take a look at what's inside the box. If you like these videos, by the way, give us a thumbs up and of course subscribe. That really, really helps us out. And we certainly appreciate all of you guys who have already subscribed. So let's go ahead and open it. And what we're going to do is, we've already cut the tape, and let's take a quick look at what's on the inside. So first thing you'll notice from the Brothers is they're still using uh, foam as opposed to some of the other brands uh, that use a cardboard or something that's a little better for the environment than the foam. But let's ignore that for a minute. So you got lots of stuff. So one of the interesting things about this printer, so First of all, it is a laser printer, and this is the toner, is that unlike the ink jets out there, which I, I much prefer laser, so I definitely recommend a laser over an ink jet most of the time. The reason being is the ink jets tend to dry out. So if you're not using it very regularly, it will you know, get clogged up, it will dry up, and you'll have some issues with the ink jets. So from a, I guess durability and from a, a regular uh, use if you're using it on and off like most people this is probably a much better buy because you're not going to be ripping out your hair like I did over trying to you know keep buying different colors and blacks and so forth it gets annoying so all right let's get rid of all this and as most things today you will get some documentation right on the top the documentation is rather light it is a startup guide I believe that brother Let's see if they've changed. Last ones I've seen still have, yet there's still a, I believe, a CD in there. Nope, maybe not. Let's see what we got. Yes, there is. So, there's still CD for those of you who have CD players or DVD players. Uh, the drivers are on there. Uh, just get them off the internet, really. Just get the latest one. A lot easier. And here's the actual machine. So let me go ahead and pull this out of the box. So unlike a lot of other brands, this one has a power cord that is connected to it and does not come off. So this is what this looks like. And it's not the best of colors in my opinion, because I think most of you would prefer a lighter color potentially, but however, if it's, uh, you know, <laughs> for the price, it's certainly a decent printer. So. Let's start with the uh, business end of this. So the paper tray can hold up to 250 papers. Uh, the scanner 50, so it does duplex, which means that when you print, you can print on both sides of the paper. That's a great feature to have. Um, if we were to look at the back end of it, just to show you the connectivity. So I did mention Wi-Fi earlier, so you could go ahead and use uh, the Wi-Fi to connect to it. You can also use mobile devices to connect to it, such as cell phones and or smartphones more specifically and so forth. In the back, what you'll have is the part here that is covered. That is an RJ11 and that is, uh, or these are for the line. On the other side, what you've got is a USB and you've got yourself a network or ethernet port right there that you can connect back to your router or to your switch if you so choose so apart from that I mean it's pretty simple the unboxing really you're gonna find that there's a lot of these um, little transparent blue tapes that you can remove and of course this was strictly for shipping to prevent the unit from uh, I guess moving too much and rattling and whatnot and causing some damage overall so I usually want to just take all these off there's always one end that's not uh, stuck that you can pull. And of course, you know, the whole thing comes apart. And there you go. 
So we're almost there. The toner is quite easy to put in. What you got to do is, let me see. I'm clearly working from the wrong side here. So you've got a little door in the front where you can add some, oh, it's already open. Okay, so basically if you want to add some manual uh, paper, this is where you'd put it. So if you have envelopes, for example, or colored paper, perhaps, you could put it in here. And that's pretty simple. When you open it like that, oh. <laughs> okay, I can see what's in there. So this is the toner. And really all you need to do is open this and put it in. So for the toners, they come with extra plastic on there. So you have to, I believe you got to remove this like so. On both sides. Brother, unlike HP, actually has the drum built into the toner. So when you're replacing the toner, um, basically there's extra parts to it. And it's really, you see this is the toner part, and this is the drum part. So you basically just, again, I'm, see I'm doing this from the back, so it's not very difficult. So there you go. Now all we need to do is go ahead and of course plug this in and either use the Wi-Fi or plug in the ethernet cable and we're ready to print. So I'm Bob Powell and CTO Bob. I hope you've enjoyed this video. You can write some comments below. We love reading those. Of course, you could always visit us at www.ctobob.com. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.